Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about one of the first science fiction stories, Runaway Cyclone. Jagdish Chandra Bose was an Indian scientist. He proved that plants have life. He was an expert in wireless communication in the 1890s. He is considered as the father of Bengali science fiction. Runaway Cyclone is one of the first science fiction stories written in India. It was first published in 1896 as Nirudeshar Kahini, the story of the missing one in Bangla language. It was written for the Kuntalan story competition. Kuntalan was a popular hair oil. The inventor and the owner of the oil is Hemendra Mohan Basu. He arranged for a promotional annual fiction competition from the year 1896. the condition to write the story is that it should feature the hair oil and promote it our author jagdish chandra bose reworked the story for his collection abhyakto in 1921 with the alternate title palatak tufan runaway cyclone the story has two parts in it the first part is named a scientific mystery The author tells about a supernatural event that remains a scientific mystery as there is no proper explanation for it. He begins to explain that a leading English daily of Calcutta named Englishman published the news on 28 September 1896 that it received from Simla Meteorological Department the previous day. It announced that a cyclone in the Bay of Bengal is imminent. On 29th September Alipur Meteorological Department warned that a tremendous cyclone is about to strike Bengal in a couple of days. Cyclones have been a great threat in Bengal. Nearly 50,000 lives were lost in 1864 because of the Great Calcutta Cyclone. The Meteorological Department was established only after this cyclone. On 30th September It was announced in news that a dangerous cyclone will hit by 10 o'clock the next day. People were so afraid that they hardly slept. They were terribly frightened about the future. On 1st October, the sky was cloudy and rained a little. It was dark all day. But in the evening, nearly 4 o'clock, the sky became suddenly clear. There was no clue of the cyclone. On 2nd October, The meteorological department said that the cyclone that was about to strike Calcutta had left Bay of Bengal and had probably gone off in another direction in the Indian Ocean. No scientist was able to trace the cyclone's new direction. All the newspapers began to criticize the meteorological department saying that the scientific prediction was false and not reliable. The government was anxious as it had invested nearly 1 lakh rupees worth equipments for the department just a few days ago. They could not sell them. They wondered where they would transfer the chief officer of the department. Being in troubled waters, the government sent a letter to Calcutta Medical College saying that a new chair will be appointed at the medical college to deliver a lecture on the topic on the effect of variation of barometric pressure on human system the principal of the medical college sent a sarcastic letter mocking the government he said the decrease in air pressure enhances blood circulation in human body which rejuvenates the body but the people in calcutta are presently under various pressures namely air malaria patented medicines university income tax and municipality tax therefore to begin a chair in calcutta would not be beneficial as the people already suffer from heavy pressure on the contrary he suggested appointing the chair in simla where the pressure is low the government remained silent and the issue of the cyclone was not solved the cyclone brought plenty of conflicting debates in the field of science in the british association convention at oxford a german professor presented a paper on the runaway cyclone the professor did provide a scientific explanation of why 
matter does not escape into space but he failed to point out why the cyclone suddenly disappeared in the bay of bengal the author says the truth about the missing cyclone is known only to him which he reveals in the next part of the story the second part of the story gives solution to the scientific mystery stated in the first part of the story some years ago the author was ill for nearly a month as per the doctor's advice he planned to take a sea journey to ceylon his sickness had made him lose much of his hair one day his 8 year old daughter asked him about an island before he could give her a reply she immediately lifted few locks of her father's hair revealing his bald head she made fun of him saying that he should use kuntal kesari hair oil every day during the journey to protect at least the remaining hair from the salty sea water invention of kuntal kesari the author tells about the interesting story of the invention of the oil a british sahib came to india with his circus troupe his lion which was the center of attraction lost its beautiful black mane because of a microbial disease during its journey the sahib prostrated before a sanyasi asking for a remedy the sanyasi gave him a bottle of oil which later became the famous kuntal kesari the lion got its mane within a week the oil became a fascination for everyone the author started his journey on 28th september on the ship named chusen on the third day there was a cyclone warning black clouds angry sea and huge waves struck terror in everyone's heart people were worried they all remembered their near and dear ones our author to remember his daughter her joke about his hair and kuntal kesari oil our author remembered the effect of oil on water waves which he had read in a scientific journal it was said that the oil calms the surface of moving water gigantic mountain like wave was about to strike them he poured the bottle of kuntal kesari oil in the sea immediately like a magic the sea was calm the sun came up in a second our author hoped that the cyclone must had never reached calcutta saving thousands of lives from death the story runaway cyclone is a beautiful blend of science creativity and magic realism the author has proved to be a great scientist bringing to light the possibility of the missing cyclone he has provided an answer for the mystery his skill as a writer is evident as he has structured the story to be easily understood for a layman the story also has a touch of magic realism as he gives a realistic narrative of surreal elements it is true that the story is a science fiction and fantasy which makes us wonder at the author's proficiency as a writer and scientist as always thanks for listening and thanks for your time thank you